My disciples, as you walk the path of the warrior, you must understand that true mastery is not simply about skill with the sword or knowledge of strategy. It is about reaching a state where mind, body, and spirit are fully aligned, moving together in harmony. This state, known as the flow state, or mushin, the no mind, is the essence of the warrior's way. It is the highest expression of your training, where your actions are not hindered by thought or hesitation, but flow naturally and effortlessly as water flows down a mountain stream. The nature of flow. The flow state is a place beyond conscious thought. In this state, you are completely absorbed in the present moment, fully engaged in your actions without being weighed down by the past or distracted by the future. When you enter this state, your mind becomes clear and focused, like a mirror reflecting everything around you without distortion. Your body moves without effort, guided by instinct and intuition, responding perfectly to the demands of the moment. Imagine for a moment the calmness of a still lake at dawn. The surface is so smooth that it reflects the sky perfectly without a ripple to disturb the image. This is how your mind must be still and clear, reflecting the reality of the moment without interference from thoughts, fears, or desires. In this state, you see things as they truly are, not as your mind imagines them to be. The path to no mind. To achieve the flow state, you must first cultivate mushin, a mind free of distractions, attachments, and unnecessary thoughts. This is not something that can be forced or rushed, it is the result of years of dedicated practice and deep understanding. The sword must become an extension of your body, and your movements must be as natural as breathing. You must practice until technique becomes instinct. When you have repeated a movement so many times that it no longer requires conscious thought, you begin to free your mind. Your body knows what to do. It has learned through endless repetition. In the heat of battle, there is no time for conscious thought, no time to deliberate or second-guess yourself. You must trust your training, trust your body to move as it has been trained to move. In battle, time seems to slow down when you enter the flow state. You become hyper-aware of your surroundings, the subtle shifts in your opponent's stance, the rhythm of their breathing, the slightest change in the wind, this heightened awareness allows you to respond instantly without hesitation. Your actions are not premeditated. They arise naturally from the situation at hand. You do not think about striking. You simply strike. You do not think about parrying. You simply parry. This is the essence of Mushin, a mind that is fully present, fully aware, but completely free of thought. Releasing Attachments one of the greatest obstacles to entering the flow state is attachment. Attachment to outcomes, to victory or defeat, to life or death. These attachments create fear, doubt, and hesitation, which cloud the mind and disrupt the natural flow of action. To achieve Mushin, you must release yourself from these attachments. You must accept that victory and defeat are simply two sides of the same coin that life and death are natural parts of existence. When you are free from these concerns, you can commit fully to the moment, giving yourself entirely to the task at hand. Understand that the flow state is not something that can be pursued directly. It is not a goal to be achieved, but a natural state that arises when the mind is calm and the body is fully prepared. Like the wind that blows or the water that flows, it comes of its own accord when the conditions are right. Your task is to create those conditions through discipline, practice, and a deep understanding of yourself and the world around you. Cultivating Stillness Meditation is a key practice in cultivating the stillness of mind required for the flow state. Through meditation, you learn to quiet the mind to let go of unnecessary thoughts 
and to focus your awareness on the present moment. This practice not only calms the mind, but also trains it to remain clear and focused in the midst of chaos. Just as a pond becomes clear when the water is still, your mind becomes clear when you allow it to settle, free from the ripples of thought. And the ultimate freedom. Ultimately, the flow state is about freedom, the freedom to act without hesitation, the freedom to move without resistance, the freedom to be fully present in the moment without the burden of thought. It is the state where you are most alive, most connected to the essence of life itself. In this state, there is no fear, no doubt, no attachment, only pure action guided by instinct and intuition. Remember, my disciples, that the flow state is not a destination, but a way of being. It is the natural expression of a mind that is free from the chains of fear and attachment, a mind that is fully present, fully engaged in the moment. This is the way of the true warrior, the way of the sword, the way of Mushin.